So here we are in the Seagate suite with three tiers of products, although only one of them is going to make me cry. Let's find out why. So we'll start, as always, with a huge shout out to Squarespace for allowing us to be here at CES 2016. Check out the link in the video description to learn more about Squarespace, as if you don't already know everything about them already. It starts right here with the Backup Plus Ultra Slim, which as you, you imaginative folks out there might be able to imagine, is ultra slim. So it's a seven millimeter drive inside a 9.6 millimeter plastic enclosure. It's got a standard USB 3 mini B, that sort of goofy dual connector thing on the back. And other than the fact that it comes with a couple hundred gigs of cloud storage, is not really that different from other small, slim external drives that Seagate has done in the past. It's available in one and two terabyte capacities and has got kind of this like honeycomb design that I'm sure, you know, someone at Seagate worked really hard on and then was like super upset when Seagate was like, well, we're going to do a more premium one. It's going to have a metal enclosure, but we're going to turn to uh, Porsche to design this. So, you know, Johnny from Johnny from Industrial Design, you can just kind of maybe take like a couple months leave of absence. We're going to have someone else work on this one. But the good news is that Porsche Design actually did do a pretty nice job of it. It's an all aluminum ID. It's got kind of that beveled edge thing going on, which I guess if you're into the looks of products is kind of cool. There's a relatively thin one and there's also available in a four terabyte capacity, a much thicker one. But if you're like me and you're all into like specs and megabytes and connectors, then the real cool stuff is actually on the back where it's got a USB type C connector. And this is, man, these standards have gotten confusing. 3.1 gen one. So that's five gigabit. That's like what we used to call USB 3.0, but for some reason they just want to make all of our heads explode. So thanks for that. There's also a desktop version of this one available on four, five, and eight terabytes. Also, same thing, super speed, USB 3.1, Gen 1, blah, blah, et cetera. And this one has external power, A, to power the drive, and B, and this is cool, you can power up and charge your MacBook with it if you connect via that single connector that Apple, in their infinite wisdom, put on the MacBook Retina. Which leads us to the one that makes me cry a little bit. And there's different kinds of tiers associated with this as well, although this is definitely the top tier product. So they turned back to Neil Poulton to design this very mirror-like, what they're calling the Chrome A, because that is how to achieve true pretentiousness, to put an accent aigu on the end of a word that would have otherwise worked simply fine. So the Chrome A is actually a solid state based drive, even though it's in a three and a half inch drive like looking enclosure size, it's got this like sick magnetic base. Like check this out. Like it, it's like stuck. It's like freaking magnets, right? How do they work? There you go. So it's got this magnetic base that it like locks onto. Oh, get off. Which it like, re like really goes on to. This one uses USB 3.1 Gen 2 or whatever. It's anyway, 10 gigabit per second connectivity through a Type C connector. Also has external power. And there's a lot of cool stuff under the hood here. It uses two M.2 SSDs inside for a total capacity of one terabyte. And you're kind of sitting here going, well, hold on a second. Like, it looks like a hard drive. It's got Seagate on the outside of the box. Well, let's see, actually. Seagate owns let's see. I should have probably clarified that. Why does it have an SSD inside? Well, my friends, it's for performance. This puppy is capable of one gigabyte per second read speeds over that type C connector. Pretty freaking amazing, right? When can I sign up? <laughs> you probably won't, unless you're the same type of customer that's heading over to the uh, Sennheiser booth to pre-order the $50,000 Orpheus, because this, my friends, is a $1,300 external hard drive, except that it's an SSD, but you know, whatever, we're not gonna, we're not gonna nitpick these little details. Yes, my friends, it is not cheap, but it is beautiful. And the reality of it is, is that while the, the tears I cry over the performance are tears of joy, the, and the tears I cry over the price are tears of I can't afford one, what I do like about this is that at least Seagate, through the LaCie brand, has the cojones to say, okay, we're going to build a premium product and we are going to price it like a premium product. And sure, you can still buy a plastic hard drive, but you also don't have to. You know, if your desk costs as much as someone else's car in your office, you can put this on it and you can feel like a big shot. I know I would.
So thanks for watching, guys. Don't miss any of our CES 2016 coverage by being subscribed to Linus Tech Tips. And I want to take this opportunity to give a huge shout out to Squarespace for allowing us to be here at the show. Remember, you're building a website, whether it's a blog, a portfolio, an online store, whatever else the case may be, head over to squarespace.com slash Linus, linked in the video description, and use offer code Linus to save 10% and start building it beautiful today.